Hi everyone, I'm Tony from SEOS.com and today I'm going to introduce to you the VWare Boson 1.0 that works for the Navix series, the thermal vision system for drones. Actually, scratch that. Uh, I'm kidding. I introduced this product already two years ago, more than two years ago, and it works first for the Mavic uh, 1, then uh, the Mavic Air came, it works for Mavic Air as well, and then now it works for Mavic 2. Um, since then, I already introduced VR Boson 2.0 and 3.0, so two generations after that. Uh, what news today is we have this baby right here, the Mavic Mini, and without any modification, I can transfer from the Mavic 2 to the Mavic Mini. And it looks a little bit big compared to the Mavic Mini, and it looks kind of a, a joke, right? But it does work surprisingly pretty well. Uh, I would say it's not for professional guys out there, but you know, if you want to do a quick scan of your house or something like that, this baby will probably help you. I'm going to show you actually how to build this yourself uh, using parts. Okay, we have the 3D printed, 3D design, so you can 3D print it, the frame yourself. So what it is, is a uh, it consists of a FLIR boson camera, a thermal camera, a FLIR boson thermal camera, a board that goes in the back, a cable, a video transmitter, 5.8, and a 9 volt battery with a 9 volt battery plug. Uh, we have the frame right here, we have the adapter. You can just stick with double sided tape on top of the Mavic Mini you know you have a product so it's uh, the wiring is very simple the the boson has three wires out or in one is a uh, red uh, the other one is black meaning the voltage in and then the yellow is video out that goes to the transmitter right here you, there's an option for you to attach a mini DVR here for you to record but the Navic Mini you want to save the weight, so maybe you don't you admit that, but for the Mavic 2 or bigger drone, you can attach a DVR here. Uh, so the, bo the board is something like this. It goes to the back of the boson. Uh, you can find this transmitter online, or you can contact us. If you need parts, uh, you can contact us as well. So it's kind of a, a semi-DIY video here because I, I'm not actually actually showing you the steps of the way how to do this. So this is just like a, a poll for me to see if uh, you guys are really interested in sh uh, knowing how to build this yourself. Uh, if you do, yes, you know, leave a comment in the section in the comment section below, and then I'm gonna if there are enough comments, I'm gonna do it uh, a next video to show you the step of the way how to do this. All right, so if you guys like this video, just give, a sum, uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button so next time there's a video, you'll be notified and then uh, you will not miss any uh, new information from us. All right, thank you so much and have a good flight, everyone. Please share this, this video if you like it. Thanks.